All right, y'all. Y'all already know. I told y'all. I promise y'all that I'm going to jump on without even brushing my teeth. It's probably pretty funky in here, but don't worry. You ain't got to smell it. Anyway, y'all. Hi. How you doing? How you cheering? I will say I'm out this bitch, but I ain't really out this bitch. I'm inside my truck, just chilling. Uh, I was inspired or I got my intuition to cut this video. I usually listen to what I'm being told. Try not to do what I want to do. When I do what I want to do, I usually end up in sticky situations. But anyway, um, the reason why I'm doing this video today is to uh, do something that I've never done. Actually, I'm going to talk about one particular stock. It's called Symbolic. I think the ticket is SYM. I've been thinking and thinking and thinking. If there's one stock that I will go into, maybe let's say a thousand or a hundred dollars, and sit it out for ten years, and it probably would probably thirty x instead of just maybe 10x, probably even 100x, it probably would be symbolic. I tried to do a previous video about a couple minutes ago and screwed it all up because I kept letting the video, I uh, kept using my hand or something, putting it over the mic or something here, I guess, and screwed it all up. But hey, that's that's my daughter too. That's my daughter in the background. I'm going to try to show you her real quick before the video goes off. And y'all see that? Uh, can you see that? This is a video, one of her videos. That's her right there. Her name is Lena Pastel. And uh, if you want, if you well, if you can, please go on and support her music. I have a playlist with this song on it, and at least maybe 15 other songs that she got out with videos and all on them. If you can go in, press like, share with your friends, subscribe. It'll really help her out. It'll really help me out. I appreciate it. But um, her name is Lena Pastel. That's her entertainment name. Her real name is Pearl Mukovin. But uh, you can go check her out. Um, I think he's going to go to another video. I just hit play on play all. So, yeah, check her out. And I hope you can see it. I'm just going to hold it here for a second until it goes into the other video. Yeah, this is another video she done. It's a, she, I think she pretty much did that video for this dude right there that she met uh, on an Uber, I believe. I could be wrong. But this is this is this video, I believe she was a lot younger. You can see her hands. <laughs> She's got little baby hands. But uh, I have a grandson as well, and um, you'll see some uh, shots of him on my Facebook if you want to check them out. But uh, I don't know why this thing's acting up. But anyway, never mind that. I'll go back to it. But anyway, check this out. The company is called Symbotic. And uh, the ticket is SYM. And the reason why I'm doing this video is the first time I ever did a video like this. And I don't, I'm don't. i never going to be a paid supporter. I already promise you that. Um, my objective is not to, you know have sponsors and you know people pay me and all I, I'm of a, also affiliate marketing so I just attach my links to each one of my videos and if you see something you're interested in just know it's legit because if not I wouldn't have it on my page because I care about each one of my people and it's something that applies to maybe an issue that we can suffer or a dilemma that we're dealing with uh, um, ways to get around it like if you're unhealthy or fat or you want to lose some weight the easiest way I've done some research on some of the, you know, diets and stuff out there, and I put out some of the easier ways to, you know, lose weight, some of the more practical ways, you know, besides working yourself half to death. Diets, I believe it's more about your diet, you know, as opposed to, you know, you killing yourself in some gym and getting some gym membership. So if I, you know, have an affiliate link that has anything to do with diets, you can best believe it's something like a keto or... You know, something of that nature, something where you can actually die to lose weight and it actually works. <laughs> so, um, and then another way, of course, of losing weight and toning up, of course, is just change your eating habits. It's not, it's not that easy, 
but you do it over time. You do it with practice. That's all. And, you know, water, believe it or not. And, of course, there's supplements out there, but I pretty much like to stick to natural things. I would rather go to a plant or leaf. But uh, anyway, uh, so I, I'll never take any type of sponsorship. So if you see me doing a video on one particular stock, I swear, it has nothing to do with that company. I mean, I don't know anybody that company. Nobody's called me up and said, hey, take some money. It'll never, ever be like that. Um, it'll be simply, hey, look, man, I got some stocks and I don't know the stocks that I got. If there's one stock that'll do this or do that, then it probably will be this stock is my belief. Now, I'm not giving financial advice. I'm not a stock expert. I'm, of course not. I'm a new beginning investor. So um, it's definitely not that. It's just me letting you know, wow. Look, what I did was I basically went back and I did research since December 27th because that's when we got our little, you know, bull run is what I like to call it. And nobody talks about it. It's amazing that the whole time since December 27th, nobody's talking about how their stocks and shit in their portfolio then grew up to more than 100% in some cases. But at the same time, they're putting out a bunch of fear, uncertainty and doubt and a bunch of fear of missing out. That's all they're putting out, FOMO and FUD. It's crazy. I swear to God, it's almost like they're all going to one particular person and receiving the narrative and being told to put this out. Even if your stocks in your portfolio doesn't grow 100 percent, I'm sitting there like, what the hell? Are these people lying, man. Like they'd rather sit there and talk to you about dividend stocks and how to get 2 percent dividend growth out of per quarter and how we're in a recession and, and how to bulletproof yourself by getting dividend stocks or some crap. than to tell you that their stock is growing 100 percent. And since December 27, they don't put out another 10 percent or 20 percent into their portfolio. They won't tell you that it's crazy as shit. But anyway. So what I done is I said, okay, everything's pretty much slowed down. You know, some of these stocks that went up 100%, some of them come back down to where they started out at. So what I'm going to do is I believe now would be a good time for me to go back and I'm going to do research on all my stocks that have gone up since December 27th and what type of growth they've gotten, whether they've come back down or not, and where they are right now. And when I did my research, I noticed that out of all my stocks, I know the Symbiotic is king ass. Now, I got a few of them. It's Tenaya, Bright Green, but but uh, Symbiotic and Artificial Intelligence. I keep putting out videos saying that um, a lot of my knowledge, you know, on what's written, you know, not just biblically, but when you talk about the whole aspect of where we are matter wise and physical wise and the mysticism behind it, when you talk about, you know, believing in, or, you know, Kabbalah believers, um, mysticism believers, you know, sacred geometry, colors and all the things, light and all the things that make up this matter, feel place. Um, when you go to those people, they have what they have written as well. And those people, they follow a strict ritual a strict series if you will or repetition you know it, when these people get together these millionaires billionaires trillionaires they get together and they say well we're gonna have this done by 2030 do you best believe they will they ain't joking and if you go back and watch the track record you can see they ain't joking so one indicator which is a strong i believe one of the strongest indicators is you got legislative change you know the law just change and then you got also what's written, you know, with these guys is, you know, these Kabbalah believers, you know, um, you know, how how, you know, precise they are with time and, you know, and being on point with their projections and and, you know, seeing to it that the end result is obtained. That's just what they do. So that can help you out in the stock game as well. We have a big macro picture on dynasties, the, the whole world. Um, especially the macro picture on, you know, finances, what financing is, what banking is, what currency is, what barter is, exchange is, and how it all plays a part in the part of the timeline where we are right now. And the bigger picture, you know, like, for example, gross domestic product and how important gross domestic product is and how gross domestic product is going to receive one of the biggest changes that has ever received worldwide simply because of the advent of artificial intelligence and robotics and autonomous and things like that. You know, when you think about it from a macro perspective or a business perspective, 
or economic perspective, you know, when it comes to producing, there's no need for a human being to produce anymore. Um, just watching what happened during the pandemic, you can see, um, you know, just in three, four years, how, <laughs> I mean, we step out in the pandemic, we come back and literally all our stores has got automation, like some way, shape or form, we got to pay for bags and just the bags alone will pay the few employees that are left there helping you out. Um, and then you see major change like, you know, Dunkin' Donuts, you know, McDonald's, humanless environments. It's one thing to have a paperless environment. It's another thing to have a humanless environment where, you know, there's no humans tending to the other humans. Uh, those humans that are there are just consumers and everything else is being handled by autonomous. Uh, not to mention the positions that are being, you know, filled behind the doors, like your stocking positions, your warehouse positions, your assembly line positions. I have a company called UiPath, and that's what they do. They go in and literally find a way to get rid of all the employees and put a robot in there, you know, like literally, or some type of autonomous in there. You know, I mean, even your taxi, you know, buses, you know, you got a bunch of people on the bus, but not one is a, is a person that's dealing with the consumer. Everything is automated, you know, and, it's the police literally pulling up on you and it's a robot like literally like everything you know doesn't need a human anymore you know and in 10 years you'll see you know um i talked a little bit earlier about um how we experienced jetsons and then think that some of the things that happened in jetsons wouldn't happen but it did and happened so fast without us really catching it and some of the technologies that we're using um, I even talked about uh, the gamers, you know, how we you know, we love black ops, you know, us gamers and all. We play black ops, we love it. And how when, you know, you see those weapons being used on black ops and the first thing you want to imagine is, you know, can these weapons exist in real life? And, and it probably sounds a little weird, but yes, any weapon you see on black ops, it's been invented. <laughs> uh, no different from Jetsons, how we were thinking back in Jetsons, oh, that's impossible. We don't even have a fucking phone yet. You know, how can we be looking at each other through phones? It doesn't make sense. Flying cars, that's impossible. Shit, our car spitting out too much emissions and we're playing about that. You know, like, it could never be where that's literally space craft technology and all it is is electromagnetics and electric electricity and, and the infinite energy and power source that comes from two magnets repelling you know those those trains they never touch the track the bullet trains you know and when when they you know in motion and they go that fast they not, not touching a track and that's infinite that's an infinite energy so it's right there in front of your face there's no need for propulsion it's right there you know and if we can put it in a bullet train then we can obviously put it in the cars after we get the infrastructure just like we got the infrastructure for the bullet trains so uh like those weapons that you know a weapon they got a weapon on black ops where it creates a a, a wormhole and the motherfucker gets sucked in there bitch to oblivion but that shit really exists the Stargates, all that shit really exists, bro. And not only does it exist, but it's controlled. You know, it's harnessed. It's being applied to certain applications right in front of our face, even as toys sometimes. You know, if you really think about the technology behind just the phone and how it has to be connected to anything, but at the same time, it's connected to something that we can't see, taste, touch, or feel. Well, at least some of us, because my fingertips be burning like shit. My fingertips burning right now holding this damn phone, but I got to hold it. That's when I lay it down, you can't hear me. It covers the mic. But I got to keep switching hands and shit. My fingertips burn when I hold these phones. I mean, burn like they're like microwaving, like you're microwaving. And I have some weird things with my fingers. I'm able to do some weird things at different times. Um, So I know there's something going on that's really ruining my ability in my ability that I hope to have more, even more with my hands, but I know these phones are ruining it. I know it because they're frying the shit out my fingertips and stuff. So much so I got to lay it down on my lap or something. But the reason why um, I'm so bullish on uh, the stock market and the bigger picture of the stock market, I mean, if you and anybody who's in the stock market since the advent of electricity and, you know, think they've gotten some good gains or whatever since the advent of electricity, and how we've come, how far we've come, and they ain't seen nothing yet. I mean, these next 10, you know, these, 
you know, summits where they're saying by 2030, by 2040, by 2050, these guys ain't playing with their time, man. That's one thing. These guys are very ritualistic. One thing they're not off by is their time. Man. It's ritualistic. The Kabbalah believers, they don't play with time. They take time very serious. Um, so the growth just the account of artificial intelligence from a gross domestic product perspective, worldwide gross domestic product perspective, and how humans can literally go lay back in their recliners from this point, technically speaking, would be amazing, you know? And then to also catch these prices that sometimes at the, at a 100-year low or maybe a 60-year low or even the, catching at a year 2000 recession low would be good. You know, uh, 2008, you know, banking crisis, you know, depression, recession, whatever you want to call it, low, even catching the prices there and then riding the wave back out. It's not going to be like the wave that was previously ridden simply because of artificial intelligence. And like I said, gross domestic product and humans literally could take a recliner chair for the next 20 years. Like, that's how fast this stuff is going to change um from that perspective and what's written and all and how what's written has been pinpoint accurate so far um i try to tell even the poor people that oh i'm a poor person myself you feel me i i got a truck it's paid for I, i'm not a fan of expenses and loans and stuff like that so i would just go get some credit and off my collateral and just make this shit real easy but my whole point is it's got to be self and it's got to be done the simple way. I mean, literally putting a hundred dollars into one stock and watching, you know, showing people the power of exponential growth over time and not short periods of time and being patient and let time work for you. I suppose you working for yourself, even with very little time left, as you can see all these grays. But anyway, um, it's kind of amazing when you think about it. If you just go grab a dividend calculator and play with the calculator, you'll be blown away at what true exponential growth is and how easy it is to obtain generational wealth, especially if you start at the right time. It's all about time. I try to tell people it's not about money. Ah, it's time. Motherfuckers ain't listening. They get so caught up in the income and in the cash and they forget completely about net worth and equity and appreciating assets they they completely forget about that and you sitting there rubbing feet with your girl and shit every day wondering what i'm gonna do your damn so bored fuckers just ain't catching it but they ain't hearing it I'll, you know but the things that i learned make make it so that i swear i'll never ever sell another drug or do anything i ain't gonna go into any other details do anything wrong or illegal you almost feel like an asshole i as some of these guys out there, I swear to God, some of my people I love that I talk to on a daily basis, trying to change a hundred to a hundred and fifty is hard. Shit, you lucky to change a hundred to a hundred and thirty numbers sometimes in the game, man. Nobody want to pay for shit. Motherfuckers want a discount on everything. You got to deal with that. Motherfuckers coming short and like you lucky to make thirty percent off a hundred percent. Like I'm trying to tell you. And once you learn how to make a hundred, a thousand eggs, something, you sit there like, well, what the fuck did I ever work for? <laughs> if I do work, it'll be working to save or stack. I mean, not save, but stack. You know, my middle name switched to stack and not the kind of stats you think. Like, literally, I ain't handing nobody shit and taking a chance of getting locked up or somebody shooting and spitting at my head. King, 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 chip back. Like, what the fuck? Hey, aiming at my red, like, shit, damn, is, is it red because it's red, or is it red because it's leaking from the head? Like, well, how you, no, for what? When you learn what I learn, and I tell all my brothers, all my sisters, all my family members, all my friends, I don't give a fuck, trip, blood, click, 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 I don't give a fuck, what signs you throw, look, look, let me holler at you real quick, man, I just learned this shit, man, let me pull this cat out and show you something. Ain't nobody trying to hear it. And I ain't knocking him. I probably wouldn't be trying to hear it either. <clears throat> Try to tell him, man. It ain't got shit to do with me. It's just right now is a good time, bro. That's all. Right now is a time that you can actually do what people done did for the last 10 years, 20 years, and literally done seen gains and growth that literally turned them into millionaires. 
you get to ride that same wave and you get to ride it exponentially faster and you know right now some of these prices then drop you know and probably will drop down to even prices lower than the 2008 you know banking crisis prices like literally so it's a much bigger picture and it all comes back down to another 10 20 year wait but it could be a you know a weight that can literally change generations to come for you if you play it right and do it right and it could be done as low as a hundred dollars per stock and you know but nobody's really hearing me and that's cool that's fine you know people usually jump on when they see success or whatever that's normal but um yeah the company is symbiotic and that's the jewel that i'm dropping i have more than 100 assets right now um in just one portfolio alone that i mainly talk about which is my stash portfolio um, I have a total of five portfolios, and it's just in my stash portfolio, never mind crypto or penny stocks or, you know, any other type of stocks or whatever. Just the stocks that I'm usually talking about is my stash portfolio, uh, which is my mega cap, you know, large companies and stuff, you know, billion-dollar companies, trillion-dollar companies. And um, what I notice is, like, yeah, like I said, since December 27th, this stock then gone from literally nine dollars to thirty dollars, which is you know I would say three hundred percent or whatever, and it's holding it steady. Whereas, like I said, some of my stocks have gone up a hundred percent and come right back down to where it started out, you know. So, symbolic. The ticker symbol is S Y M, and it's an artificial intelligence stock. And right now, I got some you know pretty good plays, but. Right now, if there was a play that I would say, you know, hey, you know, I'm going to open this play up for your kid. And from now on, um, I'm going to buy your kid T-shirts. And I'm going to, you know, invent some T-shirts. And the T-shirt's going to have this logo, this symbol on it. And nobody will know what the hell this, what it means, but your kid will know what it means. And if I'm right by what I'm doing, then your kid will never have to worry about money again, ever. If they just wait till they're 18 or 20 or whatever to touch it and um it would probably be that stock it's a jewel um i'm now trying to you know i could easily just start going ham into the stock right now but like i said it's holding in that 300 percent, and i don't want to suffer that 300 percent loss i know the importance of having the lowest point cost basis point as you possibly can have and i try to be very patient especially when i'm seeing volatility like what i'm seeing I look at that volatility as opportunity. So what I'm doing is pretty much trying to be as patient as I possibly can, you know, and just stay where I'm at right now, accepting my loss, and, you know, simply meaning accepting my loss at not getting it at 300% cheaper. <laughs> but, um, and hoping that, you know, it goes ahead and keep trending downwards and trend downwards to a spot maybe where I like to pop it at and probably pop it. It ain't going to be no more than a $100 pop. I, I probably, you know, I, it literally that being my number one play, I'll just keep it at a hundred. At, you know, like I said, my objective is to show people how to do it with a hundred dollars. You know, um, at the end, I might have a thousand dollar play out there, or something like that. Maybe a couple thousand dollar plays out there at the end, just for GP. But the focal point would be to show the importance of a hundred dollars and how far it could take you over time. Um, that's the objective, you know, the power of true, you know, exponential growth or compounded growth over time. Just showing, you know, a true example of it, you know, and not being distracted by small things like dividends and things like that while, you know, trying to invest. How important growth is and not just growth and, you know, crazy, dumb, you know, fast growth, but growth over, steady growth over time. And not just steady growth over time, but, you know, that type of steady growth over time that's almost impossible to predict or to to forecast. Um, I'm talking about more than 100% gains each year for 10 consecutive years. You know, that's the objective. You know, hey, when I look back at 10 years, I can see the stock has grown 150% each year over more than 10 years. So I did hit it on the nail, and I, I was able to do that because I got it. It's 
lowest possible cost basis strike point. And that's my objective. You know, I could easily go in and say, okay, well, you know, I took a loss at 300% and start piling up right now and go ahead and assume the other growth. But the objective is to get the cost basis strike point as low as possible so that I can ride the wave. You know, a lot of people say, okay, well, you're striking, you keep cost base averaging. I say no to that. I say you strike and you never strike again. Uh, you know, like, for example, if Microsoft got down to $95 and you put $100 in Microsoft at one time, or you put all that you were going to put into them and right at the one time that they, you struck them right at the best time, and you struck their ass when they went $95, you may have struck them at 96 but you put $1,000 in or $100 in. And then they bet they as just flew all the way up to 120 or some shit. And you said, that's, well, I'm going to go ahead and buy some more. No, you just fuck your cost basis strike, but you strike a basis point up. So, yeah, once you get that 100 in there, once you get that 1,000 in there, the objective is to ride the wave, to never, ever strike it again, period. And also something nobody else is going to tell you is never pull profits from it again. <laughs> I know it sounds bananas. But the objective for me is to see literally a thousand percent sitting beside any one of my assets. And if it takes 10 years to see a thousand percent growth sitting beside an asset, then I'd rather see that thousand percent growth sitting alongside of an asset that took it 10 years to get there or 11, 12, 13, 14 years to get there with no interruptions than to be looking at something that got there in, let's say, three years. Trust me. It's a big difference, and that's what I mean. Pull out the calculator. Play with it yourself. You know, a lot of us, we haven't pulled out calculators and played with them since we were back in high school. Just play with it. Take a couple of hours to play with that motherfucker. Let me know what you come up with. And then let me know if that changes your mindset when it comes to investing and how you invest and how unorthodox my style is by saying, I want to see a 1,000% and to be able to look back and say, all I put in was a hundred, and I never just I just never touched it. I ain't try to pull profits when I got to a thousand. No, I want that thousand to double again like it did the previous year. And look at growth, you know, and not just, you know, compound or exponential growth, but crazy compound and exponential growth because you just so happen to pick an asset that actually grew more than a hundred percent each year for ten, eleven, twelve years in a row with no interruption. I think it's almost impossible. But even if you just pop one of them bitches or let's say you got 100 and you pop 10 out of 100, well, you don't need me to tell you. It's all it takes is 10 out of 100. All it takes is that 10% to pop it like, like what I just explained. And all the other crap doesn't even matter in your portfolio. Trust me. Play with the calculator. You'll see. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Uh, my daughter's music went off. But again, you can catch Elena Pastel. I have a YouTube channel, which is called Willie Horn. Uh, best life and it talks about self wealth health truth and i have a, a playlist on there where you know i have at least 15 other songs on there you can check her out uh hit a like share subscribe to your friend you know share it to your friends subscribe it uh also helps her with the youtube other algorithm and they show the videos more as well and she has some some later stuff but i don't have access to it but that's just to give you an idea of some of the music that she puts up uh, you can check out her name is Lena Pastel, and she has a channel on my uh, YouTube. Um, check it out.